Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and I would like to thank you for joining me in this pitcher comparison between Charles Griffin and James Hollingshead. What a matchup this is, guys. This could very well be a comparison we see at the Olympia in, uh, you know, a few short weeks. Very short weeks we're going to see this event. But yeah, I have pr these guys predicted pretty close. I have James in 15th. Keep in mind, it's just a prediction, guys. And I have Charles Griffin in 13th. Antoine Vaya, I believe, will land in between them too. But hey, hey, these two guys could definitely break out of that pack. Who's going to win between these guys, though? Charles Griffin, California State. James Holling said Tsunami Pro. There's more of a balance, I think, when you look at the upper, lower body for Charles Griffin. Better set of arms. Nice lats. Vacuum pose, things of that nature. And then you look at the wheels, the, the lower half of the wheels. James Holling said, you know, he's winning in the calves. And I think that's about it. He has huge, big dry quads. But I mean, that separation, I think, of Charles Griffin is going to get him an edge. And you go to the front lat spread. And I believe this is the same thing. Now, keep in mind, James Holling said he's not getting bullied. He's not getting pushed around at all. These are slight victories, and I'm giving Griffin the same slight victory here in the front lat. James Hollings said, does not suck in this front lat spread. He may be at one point in time of his career, it was not the best shot, but it's not bad at all. He's got them big old dry quads again, but then Charles Griffin battles back with the superior separation. And look at his lats, his lats. Missing the calves, and in a comparison, here's the side, turn to the side. And in a comparison, look at the calves here against James Hollingshead. His are very impressive. But then, of course, Griffin has some few goodies. Looks like he's winning in the forearms. So, yeah, it takes away the calf advantage, right? Well, maybe not. Lower half, you got to take uh, this James Hollingshead serious. Look at that, guys. Calves included. But Charles, pretty good, too. Not bad at all. But definitely, I would give James the lower half. Upper upper body, that superior separation of Griffin looks good, looks good. Side tricep. And Charles Griffin, he's very underrated. So is Hollingshead, but Hollingshead got a lot of, you know, press last year before the Olympia, and he didn't, he didn't live up to his expectations, I don't think. So I guess he's less of an underrated guy. But Griffin, man, look at the gnarly shape, the gnarly uh, separation. But then again, Hollingshead is one big, thick force of a horse. But out of the first four, probably go with your Charles Griffin. Back shots. Lighting sucked at this tsunami. Now, now I did make Griffin probably close to the same height. As James Hollingshead here, because he's going straight-legged, you have to take all those things into consideration. I believe Hollingshead, a couple inches, at least a couple of inches on Griffin. Griffin 5'9", to Hollingshead 5'11", I would say almost six feet tall. Griffin has a better back. What can I say? Hollingshead, is he drier? I don't know. If it's a dry condition, they will see it on stage at the Olympia. You can almost see it here. But Griffin, he looks pretty dry too, and he is much more separated in the hammies. But you look at the calves, it's all she wrote, James Hollingshead, and you guys know Mark's Max Muscle does. Rear double by, and this is much more exposing of Hollingshead's uh, lat insertions, I guess. Hey, not everybody bodybuilder is going to have all the bells, all the whistles. I mean, Hollingshead, calves is incredible now charles griffin not the best but you look at the genetic beauties the gifts that griffin has in that back the lower lat insertions now yes obviously he works out very hard to get what he has but i bet you this guy with his genetics if he never even did a pull-up before he would have a nice looking you know ripped back things of that nature and i would wager to say charles griffin probably beating hollingshead in this, keep in mind, pitcher comparison. Lighting's a lot better. The Cali State. You gotta you gotta take all those things into consideration, guys. And the abs and thighs from the indie, the indie pro of 
this Charles Griffin. He's a beast, guys. He's a very incredible beast. And so is James Hollingshead. He's kind of, even the shots that I'm leaning towards Griffin, Hollingshead, he's right there with him. So that just means if he tweaks his conditioning, condition, conditioning, conditioning a little bit, you know, and if Griffin does not come in like this, it could be Hollingshead's game, I would say for sure. I really like this guy's physique. I like Charles Griffin. These are two dark horses, and I really would like to see, oh, if Charles Griffin, here's the most muscular, if these two guys, and it's possible, if they get into the top 10 and say you're, you're Andrew Jackson, and I'm not hating on these new guys, and say you're even Derek Lunsford's, all those guys got pushed down, and these two dudes came up to the top 10, could you imagine? Wow, Mark's Max Muscle would be excited. And with bodybuilding, anything can happen. Not everybody's going to be in shape, guys. I'd probably give Hollingshead this pose because he's so big. He's so big. But like I said, I think it's... In the pitcher comparison, I would wager to say Griffin is getting an edge. But yeah, back to that. Not everybody's always in shape. Look at last year. Look at last year. I mean, Bonac was off. Bonac's never off. He was off last year. I even would say Nick Walker and Hunter Labrada, who got good places, they were slightly off a little bit too. Akeem Williams was off. Not everybody's going to be on this year either, guys. Keep that in mind. Makes it more interesting. Hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice one.